Welcome back to Tales of Tech, everyone. Today, we're going to be looking kind of my last chapter of the iOS 10 things to get used to series. I've gone through messages, I've gone through music, and now I'm just kind of going through layout and interface, which there's some definite obvious changes that I think are pretty good, and I want to show them to you. So let's start. The biggest and most noticeable difference everyone's going to see happens as soon as you turn on your phone. So if you're looking at the lock screen like this, you realize there's no more slide to unlock. That's been around since the first iPhone, and yeah, now it's gone. But I think what they came up with instead is a lot better because they're realizing with so many different users using touch id which is great my fingers are still busted and i can't use them one day maybe but for most people who can use touch id they're using it quite a lot because on the iphone 6s it's really fast as soon as you put your fingerprint on it it unlocks immediately and i'm only assuming with the iphone 7 it's getting even faster so now they're just saying press that home button again to unlock it and if you're like me you don't have a passcode you just press the home button again and and it unlocks itself. No need to move the thumb up to the screen and swipe it across. It's a little change and it'll take a little bit to get used to. I'm sure at first all of us are gonna be like, wait, what? But don't worry. I think it's faster because you don't have to move your finger as far. Now you just press the home button twice to unlock. And to me, as I've been using it, that's a lot faster. But sliding from that lock screen still does stuff. Before iOS 10, they had a little camera icon in the corner. Now the camera is kind of off to the side. So if you slide it to your left, you'll immediately open your camera which when I'm trying to take a picture, that's a lot faster than trying to swipe up. I don't know why. It's just a little subtle change to make the lock screen seem more simple. So I'm glad they did that. And of course your phone is still locked. So just press the home button again and you'll be taken back to your lock screen. Now, if you swipe it the original way to your right, you'll open all your widgets on this widgets page that they're introducing. That's I think really nice for getting quick information out there quickly. So as you see, it gives you the time, the date and all that, but it also gives you quick access to your search bar. So if you want to open something quickly up there, just hit search and it's all there. You can hit show more and it'll give you more app suggestions. Or if you don't need to search for something and you just want to get some quick data, there's all kinds of different widgets you can add to this thing. So what I've got is the news because I like to stay up to date. So if you hit show more, it'll give you all of the most trending top story articles, which is really nice. And of course you can tap any of those articles and it'll take you right to that article within Apple News very quickly. One that I really find useful is the batteries widget, which will show you what your phone's at as well as what your watch is at. And if this widget was on your iPad Pro and you had an Apple Pencil, it would tell you what your Apple Pencil battery was at. If you've got Bluetooth headphones connected, it will show you that battery percentage. System Info is a third party app I really like because it gives you tons of information about your phone, what the battery is, how much RAM on your phone is being used, and how much storage is used. Again, that's kind of quick information that's helpful. A weather widget is always very nice and you just hit show more and you see how it's going to be throughout the day. Again, calendar, Siri app suggestions, check the stocks really easily. Oh geez, look at all these. Why do I follow these? I should just reduce it to the Apple one who cares oh and hey cortana even has a widget because you know cortana is kind of hard to access if it's just an app but now that they add her there I actually haven't tried cortana in a long time oh see if you hit ask cortana it'll just launch the app and then start listening oh, okay woman start listening that's not what i said go away cortana so if your phone is unlocked you can again access all this stuff easily by swiping to the left and it'll all be right there right where you left it and these widgets are all entirely customizable just hit edit at the bottom and it gives you you all the widget options you could ever need and you can rearrange them to the way you want customizations within an ios product you gotta take them while they're there a lot of people say ios doesn't have widgets uh iphones still don't run widgets marcus what are you talking about just because it's not on the home screen doesn't mean it doesn't exist and of course even if you're in an app say i'm in creator studio i can just swipe down and your notifications are still there kind of in that apple watch layout where you can swipe them to the side and see clear or view or if you swipe all the notifications to the left you get back to that widget bar and i really like these widgets the other redesign thing is control center which i think they've smoothened out very well so of course it's still there when you swipe straight up and now you can see that it's all rounded off to match the phone better as this is kind of the apple watch moving to the phone and ipad update everything's feeling very seamless but now when you swipe up in control center you can swipe again and access music controls and right here it's saying system capture because i'm recording my iphone screen right now but if i wasn't recording my screen it would show all the different ways Ways I can output my music, whether it be through headphones, Bluetooth headphones, or the iPhone speaker. And that's really easy because you don't have to try very hard to find it. And then also when you got music playing, it'll look like this and it becomes way easier to scrub through your music, change the volume, skip, pause, all that, rather than trying 
to crush it into one little slide on one tile of control center. This is a much needed improvement. And it looks pretty. I like it. Multitasking, in case you're wondering, on iOS 10 is about the same. No changes there. They kind of changed multitasking every time for the last couple updates. This time they kept it. And I'm in favor of that because if you want to scroll through like this, it's really simple. But if you swipe from the side, it can be really fast as well. So an all around great update to the iPhone. And it works really well on the iPad. On the iPad, you know, when you're in landscape mode, they got two rows of widgets. It looks great. And it'll be coming out soon. I think next month is when the actual public version will come out. So I hope you all enjoy it. And it's still got a couple of bugs that the beta people are trying to work out. I've been reporting them. We've had lots of public betas, but hopefully they'll all be smoothened out by next month and you'll all enjoy it then. So thanks for watching. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.